Hello everyone, welcome back to Lord Lucario's Lair. So I purchased another $200 worth of cards. Or sticker cards. So uh, we are going to go through them. Uh, I did have to remove my information from the top. That is the only reason why this box is open. So we are going to go through carefully because I don't know how... He packaged this. This is from TCA Gaming. Or, yeah, TCA Gaming. The guy who I got my last stuff from. If you're into Pokemon, you will know exactly who TCA Gaming is. So these are 200 English Tots Pokemon sticker cards. Which, oh, I didn't want to rip that, but sometimes you have to. Okay, so we're going to go through them in order. And, uh... Oh, okay. So, okay, so they're in little bag of baggies. Yeah, these are just... Um, so, you know, we're going to go through... Oh, Rattata. The Rattata bag first. Where's the... Okay, I feel it. So we're just going to carefully go through these because these are pretty old. We don't want to damage them. I'm going to just carefully set them. Yeah, we'll set them down here. But yeah, we're just going to go through them one by one. So we have a Rattata. No, let me see. Uh, let me get another light on because it is a little dark in here. There we go. That should help a little more with the lighting. So we have a Rattata. So we got, we're going to have a few Rattata here. Okay, let me just... Okay, so these are all looking like the same kind of foiling. Sometimes the different foiling on the card is a different rarity type of the card. It all depends on the type of uh, paper or uh, sticker paper they use. Okay, so this one you can... I guess you can kind of see how it spins. This one's kind of more... Uh, it's hard to uh, do it with that hand. But you see how it kind of jumps around there? That's a little bit uh, more rare on most of these stickers. Uh, I haven't looked through the set yet because I just got it. Uh, I won't know until I check all the cards and do a little research. But usually the uh, the kind where the foiling instead of spins but jumps around, usually that's the rarer of the foiling type. And then there's other foiling types that are also quite rare. Now for these, I'm pretty sure there's only three at most. There may be two, depending on uh, which set exactly. Okay, so now we got a Pidgey. Nice looking Pidgey. Gonna have a few Pidgeys. Yeah, this is a, a bulk buy. I bought as much as I could. Here we have a Beedrill. Oh, I forgot to show you the backs. Uh, okay, we didn't miss. We had a... So here's... Excuse me, the back of the Pidgey. Now you kind of see something here. That's the uh, sticker paper that they use. Not all of them have that, and some of them have more of that. 
Some people like a lot of that on there. Some people don't like any at all. Um, last time we pulled, ended up actually getting a bunch of uh, different foilings and uh, different markings on the back. Ended up pulling a lot of errors out of there too, which is pretty cool. Um, stuff like miscuts and stuff like that. Uh, which I didn't notice while recording because I don't think I showed the back of those cards. But it looks like we have... Wait, is that the same? Okay, yeah, it's spirals too. Or a wave. But these are pretty rare. Some of these actually go for a good amount of money. I was very lucky to get these... Uh, I was bidding on them before, and the guy didn't pay, so they were put back up for auction, and uh, I actually got these for half of what they sold for uh, before the guy decided he didn't want to pay. So we're just going to carefully stick these in. Got have some more bead drills here. Just trying to find comfortable handhold. Oh, did I show the back of the bead drill? I'll show that now. So we have a good amount of bead drills. That's cool. Third stage evolutions are always good to get. I can feel a, a cut error on the side. Here we have a Kakuna. That looks good too. Nice foiling, nice design. Another bee drill. Tons of bee drills. It's good that there's a ton of bee drills. Bee drills are third final stage evolutions, and oh yeah, this one has uh, are always good to get a bunch of. Yeah, that, see that one's kind of slight miscut there. Doesn't. In this case, it doesn't really increase the value, especially because that one does have some damage up top. But it's when it's obvious miscut where it's so off um, that it brings in a little extra popularity. So we're going to go fast for stuff we already saw so we don't take too much time. Here we have a Metapod. If you have any questions about like Pokemon sticker cards, feel free to put them in any of my sticker card uh, videos. I do have a good amount of knowledge on them. I've been collecting them for a long time. I actually had a sizable collection, but they got stolen a long time ago. Um, okay, so it looks like we have a different type of foiling. Now, sometimes this is the more common one, depending on the set. Uh, I won't know until we go through it, because sometimes they will switch. Uh, well, what are we in? We were all in grass, right? No, oh, that one had... Let me just check this. Yeah, that one had similar. So this is either a different set, or it's a rarer version of the foiling type. We won't know until we go through and I do a little more research on these. Did I go through? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Where's the Metapod? I gotta show you the back of the Metapod here. Here we go. No, oh, it's upside down. Okay, see there's an error right there. The Metapod if you see here, the Metapod was put on upside down. So that is a big error right there. That's going to have a little extra popularity, a little more collectivity, and be a little more expensive than a regular Metapod. Oh, yeah. And the, I don't think I showed you the back. I'm Sorry, guys. It's been one of those days. So then the Weedle. I don't remember if we sh Oh yeah, we were past the Weedle. Oh, the Weedle's upside down too. That's interesting.
Yeah, see, because that's regular. Okay, so on to the knit arena. That's a, a type of firework foiling. It's not the exact firework. It's more like a starburst uh, foiling. I will go over that in another video. Um, but the difference between the foils, how you know what is like insane expensive and what is just regular uh, collectability and stuff like that. Here we go. We have a Venusaur. This is from what I saw. I... Uh, from a quick look at the images, this is most likely the most expensive card in here. And it is also upside down, so it's an error, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, it has the Who's That Pokemon on the back, too. So that's pretty cool. There we go. So we're going to get Venusaur in a case. We'll do it like this. Just because he could be uh, quite expensive. So we're going to pick those up. Now we have a gold bat with the Starburst, we'll call it. And it's got a little cutting error up top. Okay, back to Knit Arena. Let's see if I do it. I'll just keep moving my hand a little bit. Got a bunch of Knit Arenas. We have Jigglypuff. I used to be able to do the Jigglypuff voice so well. Oh, man, my camera is not doing well today. There we go. Zubat. I actually like the look of the back a lot. I kind of wish they did that with the front. I think that would make it a lot more sought after. Zubat is a good Pokemon, cool Pokemon, annoying Pokemon in the cave, but you know what? He is a really cool Pokemon, and we have a Poliwrath, which we have, can see from the other pack. And are they both going to be the Starburst? No. So this one's going to have the regular uh, Spiral foiling. This one's going to have the starburst, so we will see soon enough of, if we keep pulling more, which one is the more common one. But I will go through these. Oh, we already saw Jigglypuff, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So we're just going to get this back in the case here. thought about doing this live, but I was like, eh. It's not going to be that long. Turns out it's going to be still somewhat long. Okay, back to the Jigglypuff. Another Poliwrath. So it looks like so far that the Spirals may be the more or the rarer one so far. Uh, we did the Jigglypuff. We already saw the back of him. So, yeah... Here we go, a Growlithe. Definitely one of the ones I was hoping to get. A Venomoth. What foiling did he have? Then, oh, that actually looks cool. They kind of used the artwork from the front of it, kind of, except they turned the image sideways. So it's, okay, so it's looking like it's pretty split down the middle for the foiling so far. It could also be that 
in this set, the oh, 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 the uh, foiling doesn't really matter on the card. But again, a little extra research and going through will tell us a lot because we're only just about through the first hundred cards. And we got another Growlithe. Poliwag. Uh, did we do Parasect? I think I think we didn't. I think I called it Paris. But we'll do that just in case. I could have actually made this a two-part video, but that's okay, because we don't know what we are completely getting here. Okay, so Paris has a print line on it. Let me just take a closer look. So sometimes these are considered errors. Not really, but some people like how they have the... It's where the uh, two sheets mix or meet, I mean. And you can see the line there where usually it would just be peeled and then it would be another uh, on top of it. Basically, that's like the middle of the sheet, and they're printed on, you know, a few sheets, and then they cut them in the factory and stuff. But sometimes you get it right on the line, and some people like those, some people do not. And it looks like this is going to be a line where all of the Paris have the middle section there. It should not negatively affect the value. If, uh, if that is a set run throughout the whole set or the whole printing, uh, then it would not affect the value collector wise maybe grading wise I, I don't think they would grade these because they are stickers and uh, some of these are um, not really sanctioned by them but have permission just not on paper if you get what I'm trying to say Doug Trio So yeah, it looks like it's going to be a mix uh, in this set for the foiling type. That's actually pretty cool. He has the uh, starburst on his bill that kind of goes to uh, on his bill. So that's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Oh, it's cool. It tells appearance too. Come on, camera. What is going on today? Here we go. Okay, Jigglypuff with a pr middle section print line. Another Pidgey. Ah. I'm trying to be very careful with these. That's why I keep losing grip on them but I that way I don't squeeze them too much and they lose their uh, is that the same artwork on the other Pidgey I don't know but we got Nidoran Geodude Venema. Here we got Diglett. Nice outline of the foiling. Uh, 
here's a good one. Here's a Nittle King Queen. Nice Nittle Queen right there. A little bit of damage on the back there. Looks like it got stuck in the printing machine there. Diglett. We're going to just go fast for stuff we've already seen. That way we save a little time. That one's cool. How the Jigglypuff kind of has a little bit of orange in the center with the foiling. See that. Okay, now it looks like we're back to the spiral types. Here we have a Tentacruel. Oh, oh, and that one's upside down, the Tentacruel. Geodude, I believe we saw Geodude already. Yeah, we did. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be an even mix of the foiling. So I don't think it would matter too much for this set, from what I can tell. Yeah, because here's the... We'll call it the glass foil, even though it's more like a glass spiral foil. Uh, oh, and this golem's upside down. Different coloring, too. Interesting. How's the foiling on it? Oh, yeah, you can see the difference between them. Interesting. Maybe one's a first and one's a second release. I'll have... Yeah, that's interesting. All right, and another tentacle. Cruel. And that one's upside down. Okay, on to the second batch. Gonna have to buy more sleeves. That's why, uh, well, that's one of the reasons why I'm not putting some of these in sleeves, because I only have that much sleeves left after the last uh, live stream of opening sticker cards. I spent $700 on those other ones, so definitely go check it out. I'll put the link in the description so you can go check out the live stream. Well, that one's upside down, but it also looks brighter in color. Interesting. Tentacruel. We're just going to go fast. No, because it uh, looks like there's a bunch. I may put some of these up for sale after I take a uh, couple of each foiling or one of each foiling uh, to add to my collection. Uh, so if you are interested... The best way to see my stock is on Discord, by joining the Discord. Also, to enter giveaways, you must be a mem member of Discord. That way I can get a hold of you, get your address in a private setting, so you don't have to post it in the, uh, in the chat there. Come on, focus, focus, camera, focus. Why is it not here? Give me one second, guys. We're gonna. I gotta get a new camera for sure. Uh, 
All right. We gold duck. A manky. Some nice foiling there. Looks like it's about to use an attack. What? If Mankey, if that no, it's not it's a foiling. But if that was an attack, what kind of attack you think that would be for Mankey? Another side duck. This one has the spiral foiling. Not quite as cool as a starburst one where it's in his beak or bill there, but still pretty cool. How is it? Okay, I'm starting to notice there's a difference in backing between the different foiling types. Let's try to do that. There. There we go, that's a little better. But you see, it's not as clear. So it's interesting. Some have really dark colors. And some have really light colors. And that one's upside down. So I'm... S it could be that these are a mix, but we'll, we'll see. We'll do a little more research. Because research is always the better thing to do. Because that one's upside down too, and that's the same type. It could be that some foilings were printed upside down and some were not. So many possibilities with these guys. There we go. That, that's, a, that's a ton of different foilings. So it seems like... Let me guess. That's going to be darker. Yeah, that's a little darker. That also has a pretty bad setting on there. Oh yeah, look at that. Just some damage. Interesting though. I'm starting to think there may this may be a mix of official and non-official. But at the same time, at the time these were printed, you know, there's no guarantees that they were going to come out in mint condition and stuff anyway. Printed the right way and whatnot. But here we have a Persian. That's a cool looking Persian. Now the writing on the Persian is a little uh, fuzzy. That's probably why the camera is showing it a little fuzzy as well. That one seems like really dark. Let's see the back. Yeah, and that one has the... Okay, so I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking it's the type of machine they used back in the day for stickers. Wasn't that good, and that's what the issue is. But here we have a Meowth. Nice foiling on the Meowth. And Meowth is upside down. Could also be that when they printed it, some were printed facing one way and some were the other way as well. But yeah, these are insanely rare. So that's why I bought so many of them and uh, added them to my collection because I definitely wanted to replace mine that got stolen and... Uh, have something in stock for like giveaways and uh, to sell and stuff if anyone wants. Okay, so there's, there's a noticeable difference too. Oh, you know what? That is that the shiny one? Because that that has more of a yellow tint. Maybe some are shiny. I don't know a lot of shinies because I'm not really a sh shiny collector. Or, Same background, but different coloring. One's lighter, and but that, I, I don't know. Interesting. But we're just going to keep going through. Tons of Doug Trio. 
believe that's our first diglet. Could also be the type of paper used sometimes in a company when I'm making the paper. Sometimes it's mixed up and it gets the slippery side or the coated side on the wrong side when printing. But crazy stuff. Any you know. So many diglets. I used to be able to do diglet too. I just okay, just something back a diglet. I'm gonna guess it's a diglet, and it is a diglet. That one has some pretty good damage. I won't end up be able. To, uh, yeah. Also, wait, is that the same? Yeah. All right, that one's just a damaged diglet. Not a big deal. When it, you know, these are just so rare that we're lucky we even were able to get our hands on some of these. That one looks different too. Yeah, see that one's the pink. And that one's the blue. So they must... They have the same foiling. So they must be... Okay. I'm guessing this is a shiny. Or... Wait. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah. The purple's the okay. The purple's the original. I'm guessing that's the shiny. I'm gonna look so bad if that's wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, interesting. Doug Diglett, Paris. Ah, oh, there we go. A venonat. We haven't seen a venonat yet. Some errors in the printing there. And interest. Okay. Starting to see a slight trend. It seems like the ones with the off colors or the ones that have more of the errors have a different kind of uh, background as well. So we're just going to go. I believe we saw the Paris already. I'm pretty sure, but just in case. Okay. That Paris is upside down. Damaged Paris. Yeah, when it comes to these, these are so old, you just... You're, ne you're never going to get these loose in mint condition. There's just no way. And there's a gold bat. I don't believe we've done a gold bat yet. I believe we did zoo bat already. Okay, so we must have done gold bat already then. I'm hoping that we pull one more, like, really big card, like Venusaur, maybe a Pikachu, uh, something like that. But these are so rare, you're lucky to, if you even find one. Here we have a Wigglytuff, first Wigglytuff of the day. And it looks like we got a few wiggly tough. Always good to have extra. Yeah, this happens a lot with these. You just carefully do that. Oh, look at that. That's 
That's an error right there. So we will not touch it for now and I'll look at it again later. That's also why you want to be very careful because you never know. You don't want to pull on it and end up pulling the whole card apart. Especially with how old these are, they're so delicate. It doesn't take much to uh, pull the sticker right off the uh, backing there. Tons of Jigglypuff. The Fable. Different color for Fable. Is it different foiling type on it? Kind of a difference. This maybe this one just ran out of ink. And that one's like that. So I'm going to guess this one's facing the opposite direction and will be a uh, lesser quality on the back too. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So these ones may be... may be reprints or counterfeit. But it can also not be. So it, we, it's... Uh, when it comes to the stickers, it's just... It's pretty impossible to tell, to be honest. But yeah, I will make an updated video later. And after I do some research on these particular ones, the other ones I did a video on, I specialize in those because I, you know, had them for so long. These ones are new to me, these, these types. So it... Uh, if one of you are experts out there at this type, please let me know. And uh, that way we can share our collective knowledge. Oh, look at that, an Ekans. We haven't seen an Ekans yet. Oh, another Niddle Queen. And that one looks to be in better condition than the... Oh, and that one's upside down. So we have the Ekans. And we have a good condition Niddle Queen. And our last card is a Clefable. So not too bad, guys. I think we did a... I think we did pretty good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And uh, definitely let me know if you have experience with these kind of stickers. And uh, let me know uh, if you do... You know, don't be commenting if you don't know, guys, uh, about, you know, the cards. Uh, let me know. Is that just how they are? You know, let me know because yeah, these are pretty cool. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll probably give one of these away here. Oh, that one has some damage. What one is that? Okay, the jiggly puff. Looks like has a cutting issue. But yeah, let me know, guys. And uh, until next time, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Treat others the way you want to be treated.